Hello everyone, welcome you all. In this video, we will discuss the MCQs from electromagnetic wave. All the selected and important questions have been taken, which will be very much helpful in your exam. In the previous video related to electromagnetic waves, we have discussed the basic questions, but in this video, we will discuss from basic to advanced level. Okay, let's start. Question number one Which of the following ray is not electromagnetic wave? X-ray electromagnetic wave, microwaves electromagnetic wave, gamma rays electromagnetic wave, but alpha rays is not electromagnetic wave. So, your correct option is option B. Next, the wavelength of which electromagnetic wave is between those of ultraviolet light and gamma rays? Okay, so you should remember the order of the electromagnetic waves like you can remember army like audio waves radio waves microwaves infrared waves then visible then uv then x rays then gamma rays okay so this is in the decrease order of the wavelength wavelength decrease or you can say frequency increasing order so you can see here between ultraviolet and gamma rays there is x rays okay so a is your correct option next dispersion of light takes place because of different refractive index of different wavelength of light okay so your correct option is option d next what is the ratio of the speed of infrared and ultraviolet rays in vacuum? We know electromagnetic waves in vacuum travel with speed of light C. Okay, infrared and ultraviolet both travel with speed of light. So, the ratio will be 1. Okay, so D is your correct option. If the wavelength of electromagnetic radiation is doubled, what will be the energy of photons? Okay. So, first we will write the energy of photons that is H nu or Hc by lambda. Now, wavelength is doubled. Okay. So, you can check E dash is Hc by 2 lambda or that is half E. So, energy will be half. Okay. So, B is your correct option. Next, which color has maximum wavelength in the visible spectrum? We know this is VIVQ, so V I V G Y O R, and this is the uh, visible spectrum. Okay, so and radi uh, red color uh, having the maximum wavelength. Okay, this is a range around 400 to 700 nanometer. Okay, so here A is your correct option. Next, 7. Unit of pointing vector is. Okay. So, remember, we defined unit vector S equals to E cross H or E cross B by mu naught. And magnitude of pointing vector is the intensity that is power per unit area or you can say energy per unit area per unit. Okay, so then power by area means watt per meter square. So D is your correct option. Next, the expression for pointing vector. Option C, S equals to E cross B by mu naught. C is your correct option. Next, the magnitude of average value of pointing vector at a point is called as intensity of radiation. So C is your correct option. Next, which of the following is the expression for Lorentz force? We know Lorentz force is given by Q E plus Q V cross V. Okay, so option D, D is your correct option. Next, 11, the intrinsic impedance of free space that is Z is given by square root under mu naught by epsilon naught that is 
इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी फॉर ए परफेक्ट कंडक्टर इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रिमेम डी इज योर करेक्ट ऑप्शन In free space, the condition that holds good is, you know, in free space there is minimum attenuation and maximum propagation. Okay, so B is your correct option. Next, fourteen. Magnetic field can be produced by both conduction current and displacement current. Okay, this is, has been proved from the Maxwell's fourth equation. That is, or B equals to mu not j c plus mu not epsilon not del e by del t this is your displacement current next which of the following is the continuity equation you know continuity equation is d rho by dt plus divergence of j equals to 0 okay so b is your correct next which of the following laws do not form for me maxwell equation ampere's law from maxwell equation gauss law faraday's law but this planck's law is do planck's law do not form for me maxwell equation okay so c is your correct option next the direction of pointing vector for an electromagnetic wave is along the direction of propagation so c is your correct option next 18 if an electromagnetic wave of intensity i falls normally on a perfectly absorbing surface, what will be the radiation pressure? Okay. So, remember in this case, so this is important, perfectly absorbing surface. In that case, radiation pressure is i by c. So, a is your correct answer. But remember, for a fully reflecting surface, this will be, radiation pressure will be 2i by c. So, there is one more concept, remember force, sometimes they ask about the force, force is pressure times area, because pressure is force per unit area, so pressure times area, pressure we got I by C into I, and intensity is nothing but power by area, so area area will cancel out, so force will be power by C, okay, next. Skin depth for a good conductor is that is square root under 2 sigma mu omega. So, A is your correct answer. Next, skin depth for a bed conductor is 2 by sigma square root under epsilon by mu. So, A is your correct answer. Next, 21. The phase difference between electric field and magnetic field intensity for a perfect conductor is that is 45 degree. And uh, in the free space, you remember free space, uh, both electric field and magnetic field are in same phase, are in phase. Okay. And here in perfect conductor, electric field leads. Next. 22. Which of the relation is correct for an electromagnetic wave in plasma with plasma frequency omega? We know the relation is omega square minus omega p square equals to k square c square. Okay, so A is your correct option. And for omega greater than omega p, waves propagates in plasma. Next, 23. For a medium of electric and magnetic field, the relation between electric field and magnetic field with propagation con vector k. Okay, so you have to tell the relation between b, k, and e. And this is your correct option. B equals to k vector cross e vector by omega. Okay. Now, if someone asks you in terms of c, you can write like in free space. Okay, magnetic field will be k k here you can see this is k vector propagation vector that is here i am writing again magnetic field b equals to k vector cross e vector by omega okay and here it will be k k cross e vector by c okay you should remember both this relation 
remember here always the dimension like e by b ratio will always be c that means e by b ratio will be the same dimension as speed of light or speed so you can here check here is vector k so if we write k vector in terms of magnitude k and k unit vector k k so there will be omega by k and omega by k is nothing but velocity so e by b will be v that is speed Next, 24. For a medium of electric and magnetic field, the relation between electric field and magnetic field with propagation vector. Okay, so here you have to express E in terms of B and K. And that is your option A. E equals to B vector. E vector equals to B cross K vector divided by mu naught epsilon naught omega. Here also you can check E by B ratio will be V. Here, see, for a medium we know v equals to square root under mu naught epsilon naught and v equals to sorry v equals to omega by k you can say e by b ratio here also next 25 the wavelength of helium neon laser is 6328 armstrong what happens to its frequency in glass that has a refractive index of 1.5 so you have to tell about the frequency of the electric wave and we know frequency does not change when there is change in medium. Okay, so frequency will remain same. So A is your correct answer. Next, 26. Which gives the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave? We know K vector gives us the direction of propagation. And you can see E cross B. E cross B will give you the direction of propagation. So A is your correct option. Next, the ratio of the amplitude of electric and magnetic field. So, we have already discussed this. E by B ratio will be equals to C, speed. Okay. So, option A is your correct option. Next, an unpolarized light wave is incident from air on a glass surface at the Brewster angle. The angle between the reflected and refracted wave. Okay. So, here. An unpolarized light. So there is both perpendicular and parallel component. Okay. So this incidence at an at Brewster's angle. Okay. Theta B. We know. So in this case, the reflected ray will be plane polarized. Okay. And that will contain only the normal component. Okay. Remember. And the refracted ray will be partially polarized, containing both perpendicular and parallel component and this is also Brewster angle but here you have to tell the angle between the reflected and refracted wave okay this angle and remember in this case this will be 90 so this angle plus this angle will also be 90 degree okay so this is your 90 c is your correct option Next, which of the following is the correct relation? We know propagation vector is given by the cross product of electric field and magnetic field. And from cross product of two vectors, we know A B sin theta n kf n kf is perpendicular to both A vector and B vector. So propagation vector is perpendicular to E vector and e, B vector. And we know dot product of two perpendicular vectors is zero so this is correct this is also correct so both a and b so here c is your correct option next 30 pointing theorem is a statement for conservation of energy okay. so b is your correct option next 31 pointing vector has the dimension same as intensity because it is defined as power Per unit area intensity. So D is your correct answer. Next ratio of conduction current to displacement current. So J C by J D equals to sigma by epsilon. Okay. So here A is your correct answer. Okay. So let's stop here. I think this will definitely help you in your exam preparation. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.